October 2, 1967. Historic Appointment. Thurgood Marshall was sworn in as the first African-American Justice of the United States Supreme Court, marking a monumental shift in the nation's judicial and civil rights history. Appointed by President Lyndon B. Johnson, Marshall's ascension to the nation's highest court followed a distinguished legal career, particularly his groundbreaking role as the lead attorney for the NAACP. His most notable achievement came in 1954, when he successfully argued Brown v. Board of Education, the landmark case that led to the desegregation of public schools across America. Marshall's advocacy dismantled the long-standing separate but equal doctrine established by Plessy v. Ferguson. Born in Baltimore, Maryland, in 1908, Marshall spent much of his life confronting racial discrimination through the law. Prior to his Supreme Court appointment, Marshall became the first African-American Solicitor General of the United States in 1965, during which he argued several civil rights cases that further solidified his legacy as a crusader for equality. Marshall's tenure on the Supreme Court, which lasted until 1991, was marked by his staunch defense of individual rights and opposition to the death penalty. His rulings frequently supported the expansion of civil rights, women's rights, and the protection of criminal defendants. His appointment was not just a personal victory, but a triumph for the civil rights movement, demonstrating that the highest echelons of power in the U.S. could and must reflect the diversity of its population. Marshall's influence continues to resonate in the American legal system, making his swearing in a critical moment in both legal and social history. For enthusiasts of historical ephemera, visit history-collectors.com to find collectibles that might complement your collection. You can own a piece of history.